hello so this is just a reminder if um, you watch uh, my videos consistently and you want to know if and when I'll be uploading them you can just um, go over to the Facebook page and to Blessings Corner and like it the page so that you can get the link and know the weeks when I would not be able to make a video and also if you want to have like animation for your children in the story part of the um, videos you can check the um, description box of the YouTube video when I whenever I upload it and then you can um, find the link where you can watch uh, an animated video so this is just extra updates for um, if you want to um, I mean continue um, watching and know to know when I'll upload the videos and so let's get into our video for this week For this week, thank you for blessing us. Thank you for helping us to see another Sabbath. Please help us, oh Lord, as we learn our lesson for this week. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory verse for this week's lesson is from 1 Peter 4:10, and it says. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. Now let's learn the action. Each of you, each of you, each of you should use whatever gift, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. To serve others. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. First Peter 4 10. Now we're going to practice two more times. Each of you should use whatever gift to serve others. First Peter 4 2, 10. Now let's practice the action one last time. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. First Peter 4 2, 10. Now you may practice the action of the memorize the verse. Have you ever been to a wedding where the food finished or the drinks? I don't think so. A lot of people make sure they have a lot of food for the wedding. They prefer when there's leftover than when there's not enough food or drinks. While in our story for this week, there was a shortage of wine at the party. So let's find out what happened in the story. The title of this week's Bible story is No More Wine. The story took place in Cana of Galilee. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was a friend of the groom's family and she had helped plan the party. She looked around, you know, and she was happy that, oh, okay, things are going well. But then one of the servants came to her and whispered, the wine has run out. <gasps> oh no, this was one of the most important um, part of the party. If there is no more drink, the people will leave. And it's going to bring shame to the family of the groom. Mary thought that she had to act quickly. What is she going to do now? She wondered. The stores are closed. There's no way she's going to get more wine. 
and she needs to entertain the guests because it would be a fault that there was not enough drink. She felt responsible to provide the wine. And then she got an idea. Jesus was going to solve the problem. He was in the party also with his disciples. So she went to Jesus by his side and she also whispered to him, they are out of wine, she said anxiously. And then Jesus looked at her and was like, dear woman, why are you trying to bring me into this? My time has not yet come. But Mary was desperate. She needed help urgently and she knew that Jesus can provide this help. So she nudged on one of the servants and told the servant, do whatever he tells you. So she instructed to do the servants to do whatever Jesus tells them to do. And then Jesus looked around and then he saw um, six jars of water lined up along a wall. These were like 20 gallons each and that's like 76 liters. So Jesus told the servants to fill all the um, jars with water and then they filled the jars to the brim with water. But I'm sure they were still thinking, Ah, we want wine, not water. What is this man telling? But Jesus had a plan. And then Jesus told them to um, get some of the water and then take it to the um, chairperson of the party. And then it's those uh, servants were <laughs> looking at themselves like, huh? It told us to fill the, the, the water, the jar with water, and now we're going to take the, the, the water to the, to, to the um, that person in charge of the feast. What, what is this? But they obeyed, and they took the water to the um, chairperson of the party of the wedding feast. And then the person uh, took the, wat um, the uh, water, and then he drank it. And then he looked to the bird. And then he was like, Everyone serves the best wine first. And when everyone is drunk, they serve the bad wine. But you have saved the best till now. I'm sure the groom was confused because he had no idea what this man was talking about. So this was Jesus' first miracle. The disciples witnessed this miracle and this miracle was a service to other people by turning the water into wine for the family during this wedding feast Jesus was serving the people and he set the example for us to also serve other people God wants us to serve people with what we have and what we can do and even if there is something you can learn to be able to use to serve other people, go ahead. Learn a skill that you can use to serve other people. God wants us to serve other people just as Jesus has shown us by having his first miracle be a miracle of service to another person. So I hope you're going to um, go in this new week by doing something to serve the people around you. And that is the story for this week. So, in our story, we talked about service. And usually when we serve, we use our hands. And that is why our craft today is this. It's Oh goodness, we have another kind of flower. <laughs> we had flower last week. So um, you're going to put, um, draw your hand and cut. And here um, I wrote service to God and man. So when you see your craft, you remember that God wants us to serve him and to serve the people around us. And I just make some decorations here, just some fun things. So you may now watch the video on how I made this craft.
so for the first step you're going to draw your hand pattern your on the um you're going to draw your hand pattern on the hard paper or cardboard or cereal box whichever paper you use trace out your hand next you cut out your hand shape that you drew on the paper next you're going to cut out a leaf uh, pattern from the green paper so you cut out the square and make a leaf just as you see me do On each of the fingers, you're going to write service to God and man. Then um, I decided to be a little creative and play with colors. So I um, just put some watercolor and uh, I think I used poster colors on the um palm of the hand and just make some decorations i wanted to make a heart at first but it didn't come out right so i just played around with the colors just to make it beautiful um so next you're going to um tape or glue the um hand and the leaves to the popsicle stick And that is the end of our craft. See you next week.